My name's Bill Maguire and I've made a career out of studying global catastrophes, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, uh, etc. And my current interest is looking at how climate change, which we think just affects the atmosphere and the oceans, can actually affect the solid earth, can actually bring about more in the way of tsunamis, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Now there's been a lot of rubbish talked about this, especially after events like the Japanese tsunami and, and earlier than that the big tsunami that crossed the Indian Ocean. People have said on the internet especially, um, these are caused in some weird way by climate change. Now it's nonsense of course, um, rising temperatures are not going to cause more earthquakes or more volcanic eruptions or more tsunamis. But there is a grain of truth in it and if we look back to the Ice Age and the period where we came out of the Ice Age, we saw dramatic changes to the earth. Sea levels rose 100 120, 130 metres, temperatures went up 5 to 6 degrees and as the ice melted and as all these other changes took place so the solid earth responded and we did see more earthquakes, we did see more volcanoes erupting, we had big submarine landslides triggering tsunamis so there is this link between a dramatically changing climate and geological hazards that can cause great loss of life and cause huge catastrophes. Now the big question is when we go forward, as the world starts to warm due to human activities, are we going to see this, this response again? And the chances are that we will because the predicted rates of temperature rise, the predicted rates of sea level rise are very similar to those that we saw when we came out of the last ice age. And on top of that, we're taking absolutely no action at all in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Last year they went up 5%, the trend is ever upwards and that spells complete disaster for us as a, as a society. So the worry is, if we don't act very soon, then the Earth is going to bite back with a real vengeance over the next 50 to 100 years.